Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Uh, today, Alhamdulillah, um, I'm going to be meeting someone really special and I'm going to a very special place. Fatiha Shuib, a Sharia graduate student from Jordan and now the founder and project manager of One Moment for Them movement. One Moment for Them is a humanitarian movement to create more awareness about the Syrian refugees. The main objective is to raise funds for the Syrian refugees in Jordan to cater to their basic life necessities. Okay, Tiha, can you tell me more about yourself? Let me know like, you know, what, what, what you do, uh, where did you go to school, um, and what are your current plans right now? Um, nama penuh saya. Mm -hmm. My full name, Norfatiha Binti Shui. Okay, I'm 25 years old. So, I'm 191. Uh, I graduate from Jordan. I'm um, Uttah University Jordan. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Uttah, yeah. Basically, saya dah grad on 2013. So, but I start a push you all 2014, right? Yeah. Uh, so, bila saya come up with Project One More for them, uh, ramai orang kata, you buat seorang ke? Awak uh, buat seorang? So uh, for me, bukan I, bukan I tak percaya orang untuk bersama Sebab I nak cari orang yang boleh bagi komitmen See, I feel that you didn't do it alone Allah was with you Yeah, that's true Subhanallah. Betul Allah dah letak dah setiap orang posisi dia masing-masing Untuk membantu dalam one moment for them Sama ada dari segi my team dekat Jordan sendiri Dari segi artis sendiri Daripada apa volunteers yang tiba-tiba datang Bantu them Waktu I perlukan diorang So that motivate diorang. you juga lah Yeah, that motivate So, so is the mission and vision of one moment for them still the same this year? Yes. Which is? First, kalau you, kalau you take note about the objective and visions, more, yeah, the first thing I can highlight is about education. Education. Free yeah. education for Free the education. Syrian Free education. Kita akan raise funds for the Rokini tools for education. Mm. About project yang dilakukan oleh pelajar-pelajar Malaysia yang melakukan tentang pendidikan, all these things memang kita akan highlight. Mm. Itu daripada 1.0, 2.0, benda tu memang Follow through lah, continue. Yeah. So meaning you're talking about the Arab Malaysian school that's in Jordan now, yeah. which was founded by the your 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 fellow Malaysian students yeah, living in Jordan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benda tu boleh inspirasi orang bagi saya lah. That's mm -hmm. inspiration. So, actually inspire students to actually do something. Yeah. Like like actually I I think there's probably going to be a lot of students that have felt or are going through what you went through. Meaning you know I've got a degree, I've uh -huh. got this and everything, but I just don't know what to do. So you know so. This is definitely a, for me as well. Why I join one of them is because it's, it really helps and it inspires me to do something good. Early May 2016, Fatih Hashuib and friends organized a One Moment for Them fundraising event after the success of the first event in Jordan last year. Not only that, Fatih managed to ask five Malaysian artists to join the movement. We, No Saleh, myself, Faisal Tahir, Aizat Amdan, and Muaz Zul Kifli participated on on-ground activities with Syrian kids to boost their morale through play and spiritual connections. One Moment for Them's second edition successfully raised funds amounting up to 130,000 ringgit. These funds were channeled to the schools in Jordan that the movement collaborated for the purpose of enhancing educational tools for the children. Fatiha visions to empower education and life skills to Syrian children with hopes that they are equipped with the knowledge and skills to move on with their lives. Let's see what the refugee kids at Jasmine Asham in Kuala Lumpur can do. Check it out! Alhamdulillah, we're finally here. Excited to do the activities? Yes. 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 yes or no? Yes. Okay, first of all, I want you guys have four groups. Okay, listen to Auntie everyone. Okay, the first instruction I want you all to pick up one leader in the group. Okay, who is the leader? Please stand up. Okay, I want you guys to count how many people in your group. First of all, I want everyone to open the plastics. Halas, pun. Antum Khalas? Doing, doing. Wait. Put it through here. Shusma Anta? Abdul Hadi. Abdul Hadi. Aina. Thank you. Shukran. Shuk, shuk. 
هذا صح؟ ايوه كيفته؟ So why did you pick a batik painting for the children? Is there is there some kind of like you know therapy to it? Yeah, actually it's a if uh, sebenarnya kalau kita tengok ni chanting batik sebenarnya it's a like Malaysian culture, right? Yes. Chanting batik culture. Tapi uh, orang art ni orang nak simplifykan benda tu hmm. untuk psychology support dari pada segi warna untuk kita lihat kanak-kanak ni kecenderungan dia orang macam mana. Contoh, if orang banyak guna color warna hitam, maknanya orang dalam keadaan yang sangat sedih. Mm -hmm. If they are doing some colors about blue, green, dia akan rangsang untuk orang boleh menggambarkan apa perasaan orang. Shu haza fi arabi. Shu haza haiwan. Ha, shu haza haiwan. Ismun haiwan. Ismun. Ha. Sunil baha. Sunil baha. Haza sa. Faham? Faham bahawa Hazza Sa? Ini sebenarnya sekolah ini dikelolakan oleh Malaysian Lifeline for Syria. Just, uh, I'm just, I mean, saya selalu macam, uh, I mean, bukanlah bekerjasama, maksudnya selalu turun bersama dengan mereka. Kira ada hubungan, uh, orang kata hubungan bersama lah. Maksudnya, mereka pun help the Syrian. I also help the Syrian. I mean, the refugees punya part. So, we have uh, something yang common. So, we always change some idea. Ataupun kita selalu berjumpa untuk mencapai suatu isu. Apa-apa sajalah. Kebanyakan, uh, lebih kali, terutamanya macam mana on education part lah. On yeah. So, bila orang kata, uh, orang nak buka sekolah kat sini, kat Malaysia. So, I memang sangat support lah benda tu. So, because macam what more for them, most of the schools yang kita orang support, I mean, kita fokus kebanyakan semua kat Jordan. So sometimes when we are in Malaysia, kita pun akan rasa kita nak with the kids, all the things. So when they are open the school, ni memang satu benda yang sangat menarik lah. So, what is your vision and your hopes for One Moment for Them this year? Okay, for One Moment for Them 2.0, actually, my focus is to really build up some things on education like more seriously. So, that's why I come out with virtual education for 2.0. Uh, besides 2.0, I mean the virtual education is not about education sahaja. From the education part, it's going to create a social business from the education part. Okay. To help sustain the project for the refugees, besides create a job opportunities for the refugees. Ayat yang selalu, I keep play in my mind is Kuntum Khairu Ummah Ukrijat Linnas Ta'amaru Nabil Ma'ruf Wayan Hauna Anil Munkar And that's what I'm brand. Allah kata, bahawa kamu itu adalah uh, golongan yang terkeluar, I mean golongan yang terpilih daripada kalangan Allah mm -hmm. yang meniru kepada amal ma'ruf dan nahi mungkar. It means, dalam satu dunia ni, akan ada segolongkok, I mean, seke, sekumpulan manusia yang Allah akan pilih untuk melakukan benda-benda kebaikan ni. So, I hope Allah akan choose I lah. And all of us, ah, please, all of us Allah Allah ni, ni, ah. <laughs> So, sebab Islam ni akan diangkat, akan dibawa oleh orang sebaik-baik manusia lah. Ah, so, that is the thing I believe lah. Okay, may Allah bless you for all your efforts, uh, Fatiha, and I pray that, inshallah, your story will get to inspire young Muslim women out there yeah. to do something and help the Ummah because inshallah. we need it right now, right? Yeah. Inshallah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean.